your watch has ended, and it has been a hell of a watch. I love this show. Wouldn't that think anything? Salut à toutes et à tous et bienvenue dans Story Series saison 2 épisode 35. Cette semaine on rend une dernière visite émouvante à nos amis chéris de Game of Thrones. Rendez-vous avec la réalisatrice qui a mis un point final à l'épopée Game of Thrones avec son documentaire The Last Watch. L'anglaise Jenny Finlay, spécialiste des documentaires musicaux ou sociétaux, a été choisie personnellement par la production de la série pour filmer le tournage de la saison 8 pendant un an. Elle en a observé chaque détail, du travail de fourmi des maquilleurs à l'attente entre les prises. Aux inquiétudes des comédiens. Sans oublier quelques moments improbables que seul Game of Thrones pouvait nous offrir. Do you remember how you felt the first day you went on the set and thought, okay, I'm starting my, my documentary today? There was a moment, probably four or five months into filming, that um, we did a camera test at Winterfell. And the snow machines were going, yes. and the wind machines were going, the smoke was full and the lights were perfect. And I thought, oh my goodness. <laughs> We're in Westeros now. So yeah, that was that that was the moment really where yeah, it really felt real. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the weariness setting in. But tonight Candy said, Oh, only 14 weeks till we wrap. And that made it sound like what? No. I made the last watch in secret. The existence of the documentary was a secret, and that took a lot of the pressure off because yeah. no one knew what I was doing. There was no expectation. Chris Newman, the producer on Game of Thrones, says, you must never be intimidated by the feast. You can only eat the meal in front of you. So that's what we did every single day. Just try to, you know, take each day as it comes and, and find the film, really. It's going to be amazing. If anybody dies, let me know. My original pitch to um, David, Dan and Bernie was that, you know, the Game of Thrones is about seven families fighting for the Iron Throne. Mm. Perhaps I could find seven interesting characters within seven yes. different departments oh. and I would follow their year, their challenge. Could they survive to the end on the biggest season ever of Game of Thrones? You know, the idea was that it, we would tell the untold stories. There's already a really established behind the scenes. Yes history on Game of Thrones where the actors talk a lot and you know you get to learn how dragons are made and how post-production magic happens but I wanted to tell the emotional journey and I could only do that by finding brilliant people so I had my eye out and then when I met the people that you see in the film I knew they were the right people immediately. What are the criteria that make you say This woman, this man is going to be one of my storytellers. I guess the criteria are people that aren't what you expect when you first see them. Yeah. So, and also that answer the questions in Game of Thrones, winter is coming, but who brings the snow? Exactly. Well, we know now because it's Dal the snowman. It's just uh, paper, paper and water, and it does the job. I always wanted an extra because they are the unsung heroes of Westeros. And when Rachel Blair suggested Andy McLean, as soon as I met him, I knew that he was perfect because he just embodies the spirit of Game of Thrones and is lovely. He's a lovely, lovely guy, but is emotionally engaged. My name is Aberdol Strongbeard. Uh, I have fought for Stannis Baratheon. I've also fought for uh, Jon Snow. Uh, and that's where I currently find myself as part of Jon Snow's Stark army. You have so very many emotional bits in between mm -hmm. some technical bits, I would call them like that. Yes. And one of the most emotional scene being this reading scene where you mm -hmm. see a family saying goodbye. And I was wondering, how do you know where to place your cameras at this moment? You know it's going to be emotional. Yes. And you know you have to be a fly on the wall. We wanted to not disturb the cast yes. so much. 
it was just me and my um, director of photographer, Mark, um, filming it together. So we each operated two cameras and we just wanted to have a small footprint so people could allow the emotions to come out because I knew it would be a lot for people. Obviously, as soon as I heard that Kit hadn't read his script, I knew what was coming up. Standing before the Iron Throne, Danny steps forward and kisses the man she loves. A perfect kiss. Their eyes closed, his hand behind her head, her hand on his cheek. Danny's eyes open suddenly as she draws a sharp breath. John's eyes open as well, already filling with tears. For a moment, neither moves, as if moving will make this real. We see John with his hand still on the hilt of the dagger he just lodged in Danny's heart. <laughs> her strength leaves her and she collapses to the marble. I love David Nutter's idea that the journey is as important as the destination. Yes. And he is someone who emo he puts emotion into every scene that he directs. He's an incredibly emotional director. Well, he says the show saved his life yeah. uh, at one point in the documentary. After directing seasons two, three, and five, I had to step away for a couple of seasons due to back issues and I had a couple of surgeries. So I missed it beyond belief. And coming back now, I appreciate it so much that the show saved my life. I think that that experience that he's been through really brings a weight and a gravity to the way that he directs because he wants to bring emotion with every frame of what oh. he's doing. And so thinking about David's story and how to tell it, I wanted to find the most emotional scene he would have to direct in the film, which is, of course, saying goodbye. And it seems so emblematic for The Last Watch. How do you say goodbye to these characters? Yes. So that's why we see David directing Sophie and everybody in the funeral pyre scene. And realising she still cries after yeah. cut. Sophie's an amazing actress, yeah. Did you have any conscience of the, the secrecy you were in? Mm -hmm. You were one of the people that was in the, one of the biggest television secrets yeah. ever. And how did you feel being in this sea of secrets? Uh, it's exciting. <laughs> I mean, I was... Um, I'm just so glad that there weren't any leaks that I was responsible for. <laughs> you know, because I was, I held all the secrets, read the finished scripts, you know, months before many, many other people. I mean, even the existence of the documentary was a script. Yes. So I didn't tell anyone. I told my hairdresser. <laughs> and that's probably, you know, my friends and my family are my hairdresser. And uh, yeah, I didn't tell anyone else because because I didn't want it to get out. And, um, and it felt quite good. It felt very liberating to just make the work. Yeah. And not feel the weight of expectation. I could just simply make a film. And you've told the story that the whole world has shared. Also, I suppose it's very different. Everywhere in the world, people know Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And you've told this story. I mean, you, you seem very chill right now, but <laughs> how is it inside of your mind? It's, because um, I'm just processing it. I mean, <laughs> I've had, we had a hometown screening last night yeah. um, at the cinema, Broadway cinema where I'm based in um, Nottingham in England. And um, it was just amazing to have Andy McClay oh, and Dell, the snowman, were there. And um, yeah, I needed to say goodbye to the film, which is why we. Um, had the public screening, but yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm just getting used to it being out there. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's amazing. Now, your watch has ended, and it has been a hell of a watch. I love this show. Wouldn't that think anything? Well, thank you so much. I, I really feel like you did the, sh the show I wanted to watch. This Aww. is exactly what I wanted to know and to see and the way I wanted it to be shown. So I Amazing. loved it. Thank you it was for fantastic. It. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.